We're very honored to have Dr. David Lillicrop with us today from the Kingston General Hospital. The theme for the Medical Scientific Symposium for the Canadian Haemophilia Society Rendezvous 2017 was A Brave New World. And Dr. Lillicrop's presentation was called Do We Really Need Factor 8 and 9? That sounds like a brave new world, Dr. Lillicrop. Can you tell us about your presentation? Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Um, so a, a huge amount has happened in the haemophilia treatment community in the last 10 years and I think that, that uh, a while ago we would never have thought that you could treat this condition without giving factor 8 or factor 9 replacement. Uh, but some of the things that I discussed yesterday uh, don't involve giving those factors at all. They involve totally different uh, what we call disruptive technologies, uh, alternative types of treatments. Uh, so these don't give the missing factors, the factors that are missing in haemophilia A and B. Uh, they use completely different methods, um, one of which involves a, a mimic for factor VIII. Uh, so this is a factor VIII mimetic that's now been developed originally by a company in Japan and now taken up by Genentech and Roche uh, and has just undergone its first clinical studies. Uh, so this is a, an antibody which substitutes for factor VIII uh, and can be used in both inhibitor negative and inhibitor positive patients. And so we're going to be hearing about new uh, results of that within the next two or three months, I think. And that, that treatment might get licensed in Canada perhaps in the next one or two years, which will be very exciting. And then the other uh, form of therapy is what we call rebalancing coagulation. Um, and that involves different types of techniques, but basically substituting um, an anticoagulant suppression. So you're actually rebalancing the hemostasis equilibrium with these other forms of treatment. Um, I won't say any more because it's you need <laughs> diagrams to sort of explain this. But both of these forms of therapies are in clinical studies. They're looking very promising and within the next two to three or four years I think they're going to be more widely available. So it's a very positive, exciting time and Maybe take a look at my presentation and you get some more details. And we will have Dr. Lillicrap's uh, webcast of his presentation available on the CHS website as well as their YouTube channel. So watch for it.